Hi Smiths from my life mates. Thank you very much for stopping by today. If this is going to be a very quick video, I don't remember where I last left off uh, uh, regarding my traveler's notebook kind of food log or the I, I don't know I don't remember what I was calling it, but it was the food journal uh, travel around the world food journal. Some of my friends and I have been visiting the world, I guess you can say, through food and restaurants within Tokyo. And we've been documenting it in our traveler's notebooks. We all selected the accordion style. And I'm pretty much filled with this first one. Um, and I think I have an extra. If not, I'm going to have to start up a newer insert. But this one is the continuation. To, I'll leave the link below to the last video, but it's been quite some time since I filmed or I uploaded the uh, travel food series. So I will leave a link down below. I think I was talking about how I needed to print some photos for the Korean restaurant, as well as the photos for the Hawaiian restaurant. And, um, I think I was indicating here on the screen that I chose this kind of purple color for the ink uh, just because I wanted to pull that same purple color from the washi tape that you see up top. Uh, I think that's the Traveler's Company washi tape when they did like a collaboration in Taiwan. And as always I stamp off the excess ink onto like a page and just kind of create a fun background with fun little letters. Um, but so I am stamping out the heading here for the Korean food, and the Korean food was nice. It's to be on to be honest, it's an, it was nothing really memorable. Um, I think it would have been nicer to maybe I should have done more research on like, a nicer uh, place to eat. But yeah, it wasn't anything you know uh, too memorable. Um, it was still nice with friends though, and just kind of getting out and going to a different area within Tokyo. Tokyo to me anyways is huge. It's so big. There's so many places that I have not yet uh, explored or visited. It's nothing like Toronto. I mean Toronto is a beautiful city as well of course, um, but to me Tokyo is very very big and I'm very thankful that uh, I, I can, I'm, I'm living here um, so we went to a place called Shin Okubo and there's a lot of Korean place uh, restaurants and stores there and I think it was limited in terms of restaurant selection like some of the restaurants start from late afternoon or evening only um, but yeah it was a nice little restaurant I had I usually go for like bibimbap or sundubu and uh, this time I went for the sundubu and so once I did the heading, I stamped out the heading, I st stuck down the photos that I printed off. And these photos I just print on my regular printer at home on standard paper. No fancy photo paper or anything like that. I'm a little scared in terms of, I, I had to uh, change printers recently. And my new printer that I got is really not what I expected and of course I can't really return it. Um, I tried to scan some things in recently for work and it's just not the same as my old printer. I haven't printed out photos like this yet so I don't know what it's going to turn or how it's going to turn out. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I printed out the photos for the Korean restaurant as, long, as well as the Hawaiian restaurant. I don't know if I get to the Hawaiian um, aloha table is where we went. I'm not sure if I get to that uh, spread, but um, I did. I'm, I'm glad that I got to print these photos from the older printer anyways. And so I don't know if you can see there that we have, we went to a cafe afterwards just for like a nice little dessert. It was such a cute little place and uh, we had some cake and coffee of course. And yeah, we had a nice little afternoon in Shin Okubo. And it's a place that I, I don't, I think I've been there once, 
once maybe uh, since moving to Japan so it's not somewhere that I visit often so it was uh, such a nice treat to go and then here is the Aloha table with the food oh this restaurant was really nice actually it's within walking distance to Traveler's Factory so I don't know if you can see the photo um, it's a photo strip and uh, at the top there there's a photo of the Traveler's Factory the Aloha table is in a neighborhood called Nakameguro and yeah it was such it was so yummy <laughs> the food was so yummy and delicious and I think I left the photo strip as is so that I can kind of uh, accordion it downwards but this is a super short video and I hope you enjoyed watching me put together these couple of uh, quick spreads here so this is the food from the Korean restaurant and then I kept the little spoon cover and chopsticks sleeve as well and then here is the food for Aloha table so I left the photo strip as is kind of like an accordion style and that's it for today my daughter was with me and that's why it's a short video but i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed this like real time uh, video session thank you so much and i'll see you soon bye, -bye.